Welcome back to our channel where we explore the rich tapestry of culinary history. Today, we're diving into the tantalizing origins of a beloved Filipino dish, pork barbecue. Get ready to embark on a journey through time as we uncover the cultural influences and flavors that have shaped this iconic delicacy. If you're a food lover or history enthusiast, you're in for a treat. So grab your forks and let's dig into the history of Filipino pork barbecue. Filipino pork barbecue, also known as pork barbecue in the Philippines, has a history deeply rooted in Filipino culinary traditions and the country's cultural heritage. While it's challenging to pinpoint an exact state of origin, the dish has evolved over time and reflects a fusion of various culinary influences. Here's a brief history lesson on Filipino pork barbecue. Pre-colonial Philippines Prior to Spanish colonization in the 16th century, the indigenous peoples of the Philippines had their own culinary practices, which often involved grilling meat over open flames. These early grilling methods laid the foundation for the development of barbecue dishes. Spanish influence When the Spanish colonized the Philippines, they introduced various ingredients and cooking techniques. This included the use of soy sauce, which was integrated into Filipino cuisine and later became a key component of the barbecue marinade. American influence During the American colonial period in the early 20th century, the Philippines saw the introduction of American food culture, including a love for grilling and barbecue. This American influence slightly contributed to the popularity of barbecue in the Philippines. Japanese influence In the mid-20th century, Japan occupied the Philippines during World War II. This occupation introduced new ingredients and cooking methods, further enriching Filipino cuisine. Japanese-style skewers may have influenced the presentation of pork barbecue on sticks. Post-war era and street food culture After World War II, the Philippines saw the emergence of a vibrant street food culture. Pork barbecue, with its affordable ingredients and delicious flavors, became a staple of street vendors and local eateries. It was a convenient and tasty option for Filipinos on the go. Cultural celebrations and family gatherings Over time, Filipino pork barbecue became closely associated with family gatherings, fiestas and celebrations. It's often served at birthdays, weddings and other special occasions, symbolizing the importance of communal sharing and togetherness in Filipino culture. Regional variations Different regions of the Philippines have developed their own variations of pork barbecue. These variations often reflect local preferences and the availability of ingredients, making the dish diverse and adaptable to different tastes. Filipino pork barbecue has evolved into a beloved and iconic dish in Filipino cuisine. Its history reflects the Philippines' rich cultural heritage, blending indigenous practices with influences from Spanish, American and Japanese culinary traditions. This flavorful and aromatic dish continues to be an integral part of Filipino food culture enjoyed by both people in the Philippines and around the world. Filipino pork barbecue, often referred to as pork barbecue in the Philippines, is a popular and flavorful street food and party dish. It consists of marinated pork skewers grilled to perfection. Here are some key aspects of Filipino pork barbecue. Ingredients. The primary ingredient is pork, typically pork shoulder or pork belly, cut into small, uniform pieces. The marinade includes a mixture of soy sauce, banana ketchup, garlic, calamansi or lemon juice, brown sugar, and sometimes 7-Up or Sprite for sweetness. Marination The pork pieces are marinated for several hours or overnight to absorb the flavors of the marinade. This results in a sweet, savory, and slightly tangy taste. Skewering After marinating, the pork pieces are threaded onto bamboo skewers. It's common to alternate pork with slices of bell peppers, onions, and sometimes pineapple for added flavor and color. Grilling. The skewers are then grilled over charcoal or on an open flame until the pork is cooked through and has a slightly charred and caramelized exterior. The grilling process enhances the smoky and savory flavors of the barbecue. Serving. Filipino pork barbecue is often served with a dipping sauce made from a mixture of soy sauce, vinegar, and crushed red pepper flakes. It is commonly enjoyed with steamed rice and often found at family gatherings, parties, and street food stalls. Variations There are regional variations of this dish in the Philippines, and some areas may use different ingredients or methods. For example, the sauce's sweetness can be adjusted to personal preference, and some regions use different types of vinegar or marinades. 
Filipino pork barbecue is a delicious and beloved dish in the Philippines, offering a delightful combination of sweet, savory, and slightly tangy flavors. It's a favorite at celebrations and gatherings, and it's a must-try for anyone exploring Filipino cuisine. Here's a list of the top 10 varieties of pork barbecue that you can find and enjoy in different parts of the world, each offering a unique twist on this beloved dish. Number 10. Korean Bulgogi Thinly sliced pork is marinated in a mixture of soy sauce, sugar, garlic, and sesame oil. It's grilled or cooked on a barbecue, resulting in tender and flavorful slices of pork. Number 9. Japanese Yakitori While traditionally made with chicken, yakitori can also feature pork. Skewered and grilled, it's often seasoned with salt or a special test sauce made from soy sauce, mirin, and sugar. Number 8. Tai Mu Ping This Thai street food favorite involves marinated pork skewers, often seasoned with a mixture of garlic, coriander, and coconut milk, then grilled for a delightful flavor. Number 7. Chinese Cha Siu Cha Siu is a popular Chinese barbecue pork. It's marinated in a sweet and savory mixture that includes hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and five spice powder, then roasted or grilled to perfection. Number 6. Cuban Mojo Pork In Cuban cuisine, mojo marinated pork is slow roasted to create succulent, citrusy, and garlicky flavors. It's often served with black beans and rice. Number 5. American Barbecue Ribs In the United States, pork ribs are coated with various barbecue sauces ranging from sweet to spicy and slow-cooked until tender. Styles vary from region to region, such as Kansas City, Memphis, and Texas barbecue. Number 4. Jamaican Jerk Pork Pork is marinated in a fiery jerk spice mixture, which typically includes ingredients like scotch bonnet peppers, allspice, and thyme, then grilled to perfection. Number 3. Spanish Pinchos Moronos In Spain, Pinchos Moronos are Moorish-influenced pork skewers, marinated in a blend of spices like cumin and paprika, and often served with bread or vegetables. Number 2. Brazilian Churrasco In Brazil, churrasco involves a variety of meats, including pork, seasoned with rock salt and grilled over open flames. The pork is typically served alongside other grilled meats and a variety of side dishes. And here's our number 1. Filipino Pork Barbecue Marinated in a sweet and savory blend of soy sauce, ketchup, and citrus, Filipino pork barbecue is skewered and grilled to perfection, often with colorful bell peppers and onions. These are just a few examples of the diverse and delicious pork barbecue varieties from around the world. Each offers a unique set of flavors and seasonings, making them a culinary adventure for pork enthusiasts. Here's a recipe for Filipino pork barbecue which is marinated in a sweet and savory sauce and then grilled to perfection. This recipe will guide you through the steps to make this delicious dish. Ingredients For the marinade, 2 pounds, about 900 grams, pork shoulder or pork belly, cut into 1 inch cubes, half a cup of soy sauce, 1 quarter cup of banana ketchup or regular ketchup, 1 quarter cup of brown sugar, 3 cloves of garlic, minced, 1 quarter cup of calamansi juice or lemon juice, one half cup of 7-Up or Sprite, optional for added sweetness, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. For skewering, bamboo skewers soaked in water for at least 30 minutes. Instructions Marinate the pork. In a large bowl, combine soy sauce, banana ketchup, brown sugar, minced garlic, calamansi juice, and ground black pepper. Mix well until the sugar is dissolved. Add the pork cubes to the marinade, making sure each piece is coated. Marinate for at least two hours, but overnight in the refrigerator is best for maximum flavor absorption. Skewer the pork. After marinating, thread the marinated pork pieces onto the soaked bamboo skewers. You can also alternate the pork with slices of bell peppers, onions, or pineapple for added flavor and color. Prepare the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If you're using charcoal, make sure the coals are ashed over. Grill the pork. Place the skewers on the grill, ensuring there's enough space between them. Grill the pork for about 3-4 to four minutes on each side, or until the meat is cooked through and has a slightly charred and caramelized exterior. Baste the skewers with the remaining marinade as they cook. Serve. Once the pork barbecue is cooked to your desired level of doneness and has a beautiful char, remove them from the grill. Serve the Filipino pork barbecue hot with a side of steaming rice and a dipping sauce made from a mixture of soy sauce, vinegar, and crushed red pepper flakes. 
Filipino pork barbecue pairs well with a variety of side dishes that complement its sweet, savoury and slightly tangy flavours. Here are some great side dishes to serve with Filipino pork barbecue. Number 12. Steamed rice. A simple and essential side dish that complements the flavours of the barbecue and helps balance the meal. Number 11. Achara. This is a pickled green papaya salad that provides a refreshing and tangy contrast to the rich flavours of the barbecue. Number 10. Fried rice sinangai. Seasoned with garlic and sometimes mixed with vegetables, fried rice is a flavourful and heartier alternative to plain steamed rice. Number 9. Grilled vegetables. Grilled bell peppers, eggplant or zucchini make a great side. They add a smoky flavour and a pop of colour to your meal. Number 8. Ensaladang talong. Grilled eggplant salad with tomatoes and onions. It's another refreshing and tangy side dish option. Number 7. Green mango salad. Ensaladang manga. A mix of green mango, tomatoes, onions and shrimp paste offering a unique blend of sweet, sour and savoury flavours. Number 6. Pancit. A popular Filipino noodle dish like pancit canton or pancit malabon. Noodles add substance and variety to the meal. Number 5. Ginatang gulai. A vegetable dish cooked in coconut milk and often flavoured with shrimp paste. It provides a creamy and savoury side to the barbecue. Number 4. Dipping sauce. Prepare a dipping sauce with a mixture of soy sauce, vinegar and crushed red pepper flakes for extra flavour. Number 3. Fresh fruit. Serve a platter of fresh fruit, such as sliced pineapple, watermelon or mango, for a refreshing and sweet contrast. Number 2. Adobo flakes. Leftover adobo, a popular Filipino stew, can be shredded and fried until crispy, making for a flavourful side dish. Number 1. Crispy pata. While not exactly a side dish, this deep-fried pork knuckle dish is often served alongside barbecue. It's a delicious, crispy and savoury indulgence. Filipino cuisine offers a wide range of options to enhance your Filipino pork barbecue experience. Crispy pata is a popular Filipino dish that features deep-fried pork knuckles or hock, resulting in a crispy and flavourful treat. Here's a recipe to make crispy pata. Ingredients 1 whole pork pata, pork knuckle or hock around 2 to 3 pounds, 1 litre of water, 1 whole garlic bulb crushed, 3 pieces of bay leaves, 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 teaspoon whole peppercorns, cooking oil for deep frying. For the dipping sauce, soy sauce, vinegar, sliced red onions, crushed garlic, siling labuyo, bird's eye chilli, optional. Instructions. Prepare the pork pata. Make sure the pork pata is cleaned and free from hair. You can ask your butcher to do this for you. In a large pot, combine the pork pata, water, crushed garlic, bay leaves, salt and whole peppercorns. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 40 minutes to 1 hour. The goal is to partially cook the pork and make it tender. Drain and cool. Remove the pork pata from the pot and let it cool. You can also place it in the refrigerator for a few hours to dry out the skin, which will help in achieving a crispy texture. Heat the oil. In a deep, heavy-bottomed pot or fryer, heat enough cooking oil for deep frying. The oil should be hot, around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, or 175 to 190 degrees Celsius. Deep fry the pork pata. Carefully lower the pork pata into the hot oil, skin side down. Be cautious as it may splatter. Fry it until the skin is crispy and golden brown and the meat is fully cooked. This usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Drain and rest. Remove the crispy pata from the oil and drain it on paper towels to remove excess oil. Let it rest for a few minutes. Serve. Crispy pata is traditionally served whole or sliced into manageable portions. It's often accompanied by a dipping sauce made from soy sauce, vinegar, sliced red onions, crushed garlic and optional bird's eye chili. Homemade crispy pata, a delightful Filipino dish that's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It's a perfect match for steamed rice and your favourite dipping sauce. Thank you for joining us on this delicious journey into the world of Filipino cuisine and the art of making crispy pata. We hope you've enjoyed learning how to create this crispy, flavourful and iconic dish. If you've tried this recipe or have any questions, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our culinary adventures. And if you're craving more mouth-watering recipes and food history, be sure to explore our channel for a treasure trove of flavours. Until next time, keep cooking 
Keep exploring and keep savouring the incredible tastes of the world. From our kitchen to yours, see you in the next video.